Right, shell front bottom's in. Not much to show there. I put a batten around the wall at the back there. I'm gonna fit this top. I know I've got five mil, five mil out at the back there in the middle here. I've got a big roofing square, so I can see that that's about eight mil out. And then on the other end. It's it's pretty square. So I'll cut the top to the approximate size, and I'll give it ten mil extra on each side so that I can scribe it in. Right, I want a twenty mil overhang there, so that's. 40 mil up to the edge of the up to the edge of the wall there. Now I've cut the board approximately to size. See it's a bit too long. That mark there is 40 mil off there. It's back to the wall there. Back to the wall there. Or at least it's the same amount, same distance. I'm not worried about that at the moment. What I'll do is follow that mark and scribe the wall. Then I'll cut that piece off. I'll just make a note of that curve. This is going to get scribed back to cover that anyway, so this curve. So this curve will end up further out anyway. Now I'm going to cut this line by hand, which saw, because it's bent. It's the easiest way. I've cut it so it's leaning back a bit, so this sharp edge. And I just whizzed that corner off a little bit, it's still got to be refined, but that'll be enough for now. So now I'll take a measurement from there straight across to there, mark that on the board. I've got it set back in again, gaps parallel at each end, don't matter about that in the middle. I've got it set up. That gap, that measurement from there across is 11.05. So from there across, I've measured 11.03. I want a little bit of play. So I'll set my scribers to that distance, mark that, scribe up against the wall, cut that off, then it should drop into place. I'll cut this again by hand, but this front edge is seen, so I put a square line on, and as I go, I'll try and tilt it back a bit. Hiya, just a minute. Yeah, right. 
go in if you want. Yeah. Front living room there. Yeah. You spark here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether you'll be able to see but I just left the pencil line in and I managed to cut it back a bit square on the front so it looks a little twisted we'll see how that looks Right, that's in. Screwed it in from underneath there. Top I fixed down with some brackets around. There's a cover strip to go up here, but it's quite parallel at the moment. I'm going to put a screw right up there at the top where you can't see it. Right, put a couple of screws up there, big four inch things. I got these strips that go on the go on the edge there, but I've got to scribe them to the wall so they're just behind the face. So they're just behind the face of it. Another one for there. So they're going to cover that front edge. And I'll super glue them on. And that one's in. Fixed down with the brackets underneath. It's not a bad fit. It's all going to get decorated this, so uh, a bit of decorator's cock around. Right, this is just sitting forward just a little bit. Now I want to sit it back off the face frame just a fraction, so I set my scribers to that distance, plus a little bit. Made it parallel, this gap, this overhang is parallel all the way up. And then I've got a scribe line. Right, I've cut that. that, fits on just like that. I'll stick it on with some CA glue and super glue and some activator. I'll start at the bottom, stick it on, holding the rest off and slowly work my way up, pushing it into the wall as I do.
I'm going to put some catches on the top of these doors. I've got these ones, really strong magnetic catches. Sometimes too strong. They're going to go up inside there. And I've got some strips here that are going to go down at the bottom, give the bottom doors something to, bottom of the doors something to clap against. Because I've got two doors, I can get in to mark where the screws are going to go. But if you can't, you turn this over. It's got like a like a dimple, a weld, a rivet, rivet mark. You put that where you want it to be. Shut the door. Give it a bit of a thump. It's a little dent there. You can use that to mark where you're going to put your plate. Right, catches are on, but because we haven't got handles yet, I put a bit of tape on there. I've done that before, where you just, you just you can't get them open. That'll be all right till the tape breaks off. <laughs> Right, well that's it for now. It needs some handles, I'll call back to do them. When the floor gets fitted I'll put a little skirting on. And I'll probably end up drilling holes for the for the telly to go on. Maybe a lamp.